In this video, I'll be comparing Spark Mail versus Apple Mail, two email apps many people use on their Mac and iPhone. So I've tried both of these and I'll walk you through what they do well, where they struggle and by the end you will clearly see which one might work best for you. First, what are they and who are they for? Apple Mail is the native email app built into macOS, iOS and iPadOS. It's deeply integrated with Apple services like Contacts, Calendar, Notes and iCloud. It's designed to be simple, familiar and just work without extra layers. SparkMail is a third-party email client that aims to bring smarter organization, team features, AI assistance and productivity tools to your inbox. It supports multiple email providers such as iCloud, Gmail, Exchange, IMAP and it gives you extra features Apple Mail often lacks. So in terms of the features and workflow, with Apple Mail you get a clean, no fuss interface and you can manage multiple accounts, create rules, filter spam, archive, flag messages and use smart mailboxes. It integrates with other Apple apps and supports things like hide my email and mail privacy protection to block tracking images. But it treats all your incoming emails in one flow unless you manually set rules. That means you might get newsletters, notifications and important messages mixed together unless you configure filters. SparkMail steps in to help organize automatically. It groups emails into categories like people, notifications and newsletters. It gives you a smart inbox so you see important messages first. Spark also has features like email scheduling, snooze, reminders, undo send, smart search and even AI tools that give you summaries and text generation in its premium version. Another big difference is collaboration. Spark supports team features. You can assign emails to teammates, comment inside threads, share drafts, etc. Apple Mail has no built-in team features. In terms of speed, many users report that Spark syncs and delivers push faster than Apple Mail, especially for non-iCloud accounts. Now for pricing and limits, Apple Mail is obviously free and it comes included with your Apple devices. Spark does offer a free plan with core functionality, but more advanced features such as AI tools, deeper customization and collaboration tools require Spark Premium or Teams plans. And those start at 5 euros 83 per month billed annually, and any team plan is 7 euros per user per month. So some of their strengths and weaknesses, for Apple Mail they have excellent integration with Apple's ecosystem, no extra subscription necessary which is the biggest advantage of Apple Mail, then you get strong privacy controls such as blocking trackers and proxying images, then you have reliability and minimal overhead, it works consistently for many users. Now some weaknesses of Apple Mail, you have less automation and fewer smart inbox tools compared to for example Spark, you don't have team or collaboration features, for non-iCloud email accounts sometimes they have slower push or sync behavior and there's less flexibility in how you want to triage or process emails unless you build extensive rules. Then the strengths of Spark Mail, you get smarter email organization with a smart inbox and categories and you get productivity tools like snooze, reminders, schedule send and undo send, team collaboration where you can share, assign and comment inside of Spark, you get AI tools and enhanced search capabilities in the premium plans and you get faster sync and better behavior for active or multiple email accounts. Then the main weaknesses of Spark Mail, it requires a subscription for full features. For privacy or security minded users, Spark handles some email metadata via its servers, which can raise concerns. Then the free version has some limits, so you may hit those in heavier use. And deep integration with the Apple ecosystem may be less smooth than with Apple Mail. So ultimately, which one should you choose? First, I would go with Apple Mail if you value simplicity, privacy and native integration above extra bells and whistles. If you use iCloud heavily, want close ties with Apple's apps such as Calendar and Contacts and don't want to pay for an email client, Apple Mail is a solid, no friction choice. On the other hand, I would go with Spark Mail if your inbox is busy, you need smarter organization, automation or team features, or you want extra productivity tools that Apple Mail simply doesn't offer. If managing many email accounts, triaging fast or collaborating matters, Spark brings tools that can save time. So if your workflow is light, Apple Mail may be enough. If your workflow is heavier, Spark may just justify its cost with time saved. 
So that concludes this comparison of Spark Mail versus Apple Mail. If this comparison helped you make a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.